Welcome knife fans. Thanks for clicking on my channel. If you like what you see, then hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, today I want to get into a list of knives for the very, very budget-oriented. Um, most often we do budget knives for $50 or under or $50 or over, but most people in my world, most people that I know, usually don't want to pay more than $10, maybe $15 for a pocket knife. Um, it's just the way it is. So most of the time, you end up with a <clears throat> bargain bin knife from, say, Lowe's or Walmart, or you end up with a swap meat knife, like an M-Tech or a Frost Cutlery or Ozark Trail, something like that. And there's nothing wrong with those, but they are definitely bottom of the barrel, barely work as tools. Um, so I want to get into what I think is the five best knives under fifteen dollars and that doesn't you know I, there's a pretty decent showing of those um, that you can find but my criteria is nothing lower than 8cr 13 mov which you know most big companies use for even their middle budgets and um, decent build quality you know not a lot of plastics or you know full-on junk Okay, um, now I want to do a list of five, but I have a few honorable mentions just because I couldn't make a list of ten. So um, I, I at least want to show these knives just in case somebody likes them. I want to start out with an Arella brand. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is actually a really nice knife. It's, I mean, it's right in with the Quaken territory. It looks, it feels a lot like a Quaken. It's a little heavy, you know, it's got the tip-up pocket clip, Tonto blade, and it flies out. I mean, this thing has, this is really, really good action for a uh, $14.99 knife. It has aluminum handles that are four, four and a half inches long with a blade that is three and a half inches long, fully hollow ground, and it did come razor sharp. Um, the reason this didn't make my list for top five is only because it is a 3CR or 5CR 13 MOV. I couldn't find which, um, but I'm pretty sure I saw somewhere on Amazon when I purchased this that it was at least a 5CR 13. But it is aluminum. They say you know aerospace grade aluminum and stainless steel liners that don't have relief cuts, so makes it a little on the heavy side like i said this thing is a great action and it is still a great starting knife if you're into that type of knife tonto with a um aluminum handle all right the second knife i want to show actually came in a set of two and that is a cobalt and they call this the speed release knife and it comes in the speed release knife set you actually get this and one of the very best utility knives on the market for under ten dollars um, it can go anywhere from eight ninety nine to nine ninety nine now this knife I couldn't find the steel anywhere so you know it could be stainless steel um, I know it's not eight CR so it could be anything three CR you know it's just guessing really with it um, but I have a helper, an employee that works with me, and um, I bought him the, the set, and he loves this knife. He uses it every day. He loves it, and it takes a beating. And um, we do flooring. We do cut a lot of carpet strands and uh, cut a lot of tape, boxes, stuff like that. And it seems to hold an edge pretty well for him. All right, so like I said, this is speed release, so you got to hit this button here. And then the only way to open it is to flick it out. Usually the action's pretty good. I think I need to loosen it up and wear it in a little bit. I literally just opened the package to uh, show this off. I'm saving the other knife for another video. But this is a push button. But it's really strange because actually is a liner lock to close it. And then you can't use that thumb stud to open it. 
you have to push that button and flick it out. And then you can't push the button to close it. You have to use that liner lock. So that makes it odd. Now you can push the button and use your, your middle finger to, to get it started to push it out. Something like that. But it's glass field nylon. Fit and finish isn't perfect. It's got some gaps here. Um, their utility knives are definitely better. And then it's tipped down. But for, you know, a two-pack, this is actually an amazing work knife. If you're not going to buy a knife, at least, you know, pick up the double set and carry this thing. So that's the Cobalt Speed Release. Okay, so now getting into what I actually want to talk about, the knives that are on my list. Let's start with number five. It is an off-brand that you find on Amazon. And they actually make scales that you can pick up for some Delicas and Endoras also. And that name is Cool Hand. Let's see if you can see it there. But this is a G10 knife with a tip-down pocket clip and 420C blade steel with a Tonto grind, semi-hollow, and a 3.25 inch blade with a 4.25 inch handle. This is a really, really grippy G10. And like I said, this is, see if you can see that there. Doesn't want to focus. Cool hand. Cool hand is what this is called. But the G10 is really grippy and it looks great. It's got this, you know, this red inside liner and then the white and black layer G10. And these arrows are actually cut in so that they have that texture. Um, so, you know, you really get a good grip. It's great on the hands and it's not so sharp that it hurts. It's just, you can feel totally locked in with this. Um, you know, the pocket clip works pretty well because it's not real thick and wide. It still springs decent so it doesn't tear up your pocket too bad. And it's got the cutout relief for your liner lock, so it works great, flicks great. Um, this is really, really an awesome knife, and this is only $8.99 on Amazon. And it's got that shape in the back that uh, they would usually call a glass breaker, but it doesn't have any metal points, so it's just uh, possibly self-defense. I don't know. It's just the blade shape. Um, but yeah, got a lanyard hole, and just really nice looking G10. I mean, if it, for anything else, the G10 on this is great. But that's the cool hand, number five. All right, number four is the best seller ever on Blade HQ. And there are actually two of these. There's a three inch and a three and a half inch. And that's the Ignition. Kershaw Ignition. This knife has a great action. Full flat grind blade. There's a three inch. With a three and a half inch handle, a tip up pocket clip. It's got a de decorative pivot. I don't know why I'm not, not getting focused here. But it's got a full decorative pivot. There we go. And 8CR MOV blade. Um, this is one of the best bargains on there. They're now discontinued. So if you can find them, I'd grab them. They usually go for $12.99 or $13.99, depending on if you're getting the 3-inch or the 3.5-inch. Um, this is a great Kershaw. I mean, this is really, really a nice knife. The action's always amazing. Um, it's not too heavy because of those cutouts, even though the liners aren't relieved. It's small enough to still be manageable. Okay, number three is one of my favorite play knives, sort of my um, fidget toy I play around with. And that is the Kubi No Name Access Knife. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting any of these to focus here, but there we go. Kubi with a two and a half inch blade and a three inch handle, all aluminum with stainless steel liners. Um, this guy's Fairly lightweight, G10 backspacer. Uh, I'm trying to see if it's has relief cuts in there. Let's see here. Uh, yes, I believe. Yes, it does have relief cuts. So that's what makes this little guy so light. 8CR 13 MOV blade with a really nice um, hollow grind. 
This thing has nice thin blade stock also, so it makes it a really, really nice slicer. Um, doesn't take up that much space. And the way they have this made, this actually works great for a bottle cap lifter. Um, you know, it's, I know it's not made for that. It's just the way it locks in, but it does work great. And the action on this is it's just, it's just a good time. It's fun. It's a really good play around knife, good fidget knife. That's the Kubi Access knife. Um, you can also get that in an SRM or yeah, SRM brand. So if you look around Amazon, you can usually find it or like bang good stuff like that. Okay. So that's knife number three. Knife number two is another off brand because I mean, what else are you going to get for 15 bucks or less? Um, and I get most of my stuff from Amazon when they're these kinds of knives. Uh, when I started my collection, I started out really low. I wanted to go above m -Tech and Frost Cutlery knives. But I still didn't want to spend a ton of money. So I stuck with, you know, nice looking knives for $15 to $25. Um, and these are a lot of the $15 knives I found before I bumped my budget way up. Okay, so this brand is Two Knife or Toe Knife. I'm not sure which. It's T O N I F E. And this, um, I'm sort of, uh, like I said, I have this at number two. I'm not sure about it now because, you know, as long as I've had this and used it, I just thought about it and was thinking, wow, this really looks a lot like a Chris Reeves. Um, the Sabenza. Sorry to say that name. <clears throat> the only thing is, it's a G10, it's access lock. It's branded, um, so I don't know if you'd consider it a, a ripoff, but this is a really great knife for $14.99. Oh, last knife is uh, $12.99 usually, and this two knife, toe knife is 8CR 13MOV with a hollow ground blade. Um, you know, that's one nice thing, even though they're 8CR, that hollow ground blade makes them... Um, really sharp and even though they don't hold an edge as well they they end up taking a, a th nice thin edge easily because they already have that um that grind out and uh this is another access knife which is you know pretty much one of my favorite locking systems and uh, a lot of knife guys have the same thing but this knife works great has great action it definitely took some wearing in and cleaning up to get get it drop shut ready um but once i got it it's got really nice textured g10 stainless steel liners that are relieved um it's got the brass liner or brass washers thumb stud with that access type lock and uh, the g10 is really really nice i mean you know it almost has like a carbon look to it it's totally rounded on the blade. Blades rounded out. Really decent quality grinding. Came razor sharp. Um, the only problem with this is it is a special pivot. So you can't use a normal Torx. Um, what I use is fork prongs. I just use two of the fork prongs and that works great. But So that's number two, the two knife. And then my number one... Budget knife for fifteen dollars or less is a Kershaw, and it is the Kershaw Thistle. Um, there's a few things I don't like about this knife, but the things I love is this closing mechanism and the action. Action is just incredible. I really love this blade grind. It's another hollow grind. But it's real wide, so it's got a lot of room to drop down, so it makes it really, really slicey. And then it's a super thin blade. It's thinner blade stock than all four of those other knives. Um, this unlocking system, it, it's just a liner lock, and then this pushes that liner out of the way. So it makes it great to close. But one thing you want to do is you want to just drop it holding that button. But you got to make sure you let that button go. Otherwise, it stops your blade and it can get stuck behind your liner and then you got to push it back up. But once you get it started, see I just did it there. You just push it down and then and then let go and let it drop and it drops great. And this thing flies open. I mean the action, it makes a pretty decent fidget knife. You know, it just takes a little bit of learning to get used to that lock. 
but it does make it really convenient and easy while still having nice lockup. Um, this does have a deep carry clip. It stops right about here because it has those high screws that stick way up. I mean, so really you're only going to here on the clip. You're not going to make it all the way up to that curve with those screws. There's only one mistake they made on that one. And then I don't love these K's all over the handle. Um, you know, the other one was G10 and aluminum on the other knives. So much better handle quality on those. And that may even be an argument to be um, why they may be better knives. I just love um, the sliciness of this and I love the action and just the way it works. And this was only $13.99 at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. But glass filled nylon. I don't love the K's, but everything else is great. Okay, it's got relief cut um, steel liners. It's got that great liner lock action. Good to go, and um, the blade is just you know it's my favorite blade on these. This is a this is a really really great work knife. Um, you know it'll take care of just about anything. And HCR thirteen isn't a bad blade steel. I mean, you know me growing up, I was always buying those um, you know knives from the flea markets, which were you know nothing above seven CR, but usually lower than that. Anyhow, that's my five for fifteen budget knives with a few extra thrown in um, just to give you some size comparisons we'll throw a dollar bill in there um, and we'll put a pen on this side so if you like small knives we got small we got large and we got some medium your toe knife is definitely your biggest the Kershaw Thistle is right next to it. I mean, this to me, this is the perfect size knife for me. That's why I like it so much. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Um, I hope you have luck finding those budget knives when you're looking for them. And um, keep an eye out for the next video. I think I'm going to do probably um, $20 knives or uh, maybe bump it up a little bit. But hit the subscribe, ring that bell, and hit the like button if you if you don't mind. I really appreciate it, guys. You all have a wonderful day, and um, yeah, I love the community. Take care, guys.